Okay. So some days in my life I do things because I don't... I don't know why I do them. Uh, and that's the real neat thing about the life that I'm living is I don't have a clue. Like today, uh, my daughter works at the, in a ski restaurant at the bottom of a ski lift. And she's doing it to move on to college. And the owner from time to time needs extra people to assist. And from time to time, I put on my hiking boots and I go up there and I run food back and forth. And, and today we had, like, uh, I don't know, 400 people or something that came in for this big corporate event. And the amount of waste was absolutely... I mean, I was almost crying. Literally, honest to God, as I was scraping this unbelievable amounts of food into the garbage. People would take one bite out of a strudel or a uh, full Wiener schnitzel just left on the plate. It was like, oh my God, how can people do this? And then I saw that it was at one of the companies that runs with the uh, the stock market in uh, Switzerland and Germany. And there was a big shot there with no hair and there were a few of them. Uh, most people were absolutely magnificent, though. They were really, really great people. And, but I got back, and I opened up my Facebook, and I had talked in a video about something in Christos. Uh, I'm a really good friend and an intellectual. He's a lot smarter than me. So he writes me these things. He says, that, and I think I was talking about the reptiles in Davos, the ones that seem to be trying to run the world. And he pointed out very clearly, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. This was like one of these startling, holy shit, Gee whiz, um, I should have noticed this years ago, but that the 1%, they're running on an antiquated operating system. They're running on the reptilian brain of the mind, the kill or be killed, which doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it does to them, obviously, it's how they're living their lives. It's not a good thing or a bad thing, it's just um, what they're doing, but they're running on this killer be killed system. There's a, a game called Cash Blow. If you haven't played it with your kids, get it, play it with your kids. It's a great thing to have fun with, to educate your children. But I played a few years ago with two men who were deeply in the enculturated world. And I was fascinated how differently they had played. And when I bought the game, what I saw was when I got out, how much fun I could have being generous with other people and assisting them in getting out or just assisting them along the way. And when I played with these two gentlemen, it was this killer be killed world. It was like they felt for them to be successful that they had to make sure that they were the ones that became successful. Look, if you're going to get wealthy, there's only one reason to get wealthy. And that reason is so you can assist other people getting out of the rat race. So you can assist other people to live their dreams. So that, to make it simpler for them, to make it easier for them. Um, I don't know why that seems like such a startling revelation, but this is why I live my life. I do things that I don't understand, like I said. I waited on tables all day. Had a great time doing it, by the way. I got to ski to work and ski home. Uh, I don't think it gets any better than that. And then have these holy shit moments. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com And uh, the name, name of my book, uh, Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing. <laughs> I actually remembered it. Have fun.